One Too Many by Saya Narrated by Otis Jiry There was a college student named David who loved pulling people's legs. For example, David would go to a restaurant with three friends, and when the waiter asked four persons, David would say, Come on, look more carefully. There are five of us. David would do this often, and people began to think David could really see it. But, of course, David couldn't really see anything. He was just amusing himself by watching people's reactions. No matter how many times his friends told him to stop it, all David would do was just laugh at them. One day, David, who was always with someone when he ate, thought he would eat alone just for a change and went into a restaurant all by himself. He sat down at the table, and a waiter brought him a glass of water and put it down in front of him, and another down in front of the seat opposite David's. Hmm, that's weird, David thought. Of course, there was no one apart from David at the table. Maybe there was someone here just before I came in, and the waiter just thought that the person was with me. Oh, well, I'll just move to another table if someone comes back. The waiter came to take orders. David ordered a spaghetti dish. By that time, all of the other diners had left the restaurant, and David was the only one that remained. It now seemed certain that the waiter had made a mistake. After a while, the waiter brought him the dish he had ordered, and to David's dismay, the waiter placed an identical dish opposite him. Why did you bring two dishes when it's only me here? David asked the waiter angrily. The waiter, surprised, looked around him quickly. That's strange. I'm sure I saw there were two of you. David asked to speak with the manager, who had been at the door when David first arrived at the restaurant. The manager, however, agreed with the waiter in that David was not alone upon arrival, but had walked in with someone else. At this, David became very upset and stormed out of the restaurant. Now that he was certain he was at the receiving end of the joke he used to play himself, David realized how uncomfortable it felt. He swore he would never do it again. But the incident at the restaurant was only the beginning. From then on, every time David went out, people saw someone else beside him. Everywhere he went, whoever he met, David was seen with someone. Even on a very crowded train, people made room beside him just enough for one person. Someone is following me, David thought. Soon, he couldn't bear the thought of going out anymore. He grew paranoid, lost weight, and became a completely different person. For many months, he continued to live like a hermit. He stayed in just so that he wouldn't have to deal with the other person. Many days passed. David gradually came to imagine that surely, after such a long time, the other person must have gone somewhere else. He stepped outside for the first time in ages and took a deep breath. The air outside felt fresh and good. David went into a nearby restaurant on a whim. The restaurant had a lively atmosphere, and David felt quite relaxed. However, he was still scared of sitting at a table, so he chose to sit at the empty bar counter. I've been so stupid, he thought. There's nothing to be afraid of. David couldn't have felt any better. Welcome, the waiter said, and put down a glass of water down in front of David. Then he put another glass next to David and still another one next to it, and another one after that, and another one after that, and then another one after that. 